it everybody, Sam Mould here from Cultivate Farms and welcome to episode 37 of Cultivate Farms TV. I am here in a landscape with big blue skies in the Mallee of South Australia, uh, coming to you a day early. I usually do this every Wednesday. Uh, we take you behind the scenes of what we're trying to do to get you guys farm ready and onto your dream farm. Uh, and today I'm posting a day early because it's National Farm, uh, or Agriculture Day, sorry. Farm's not in there, it should be Agriculture Day. Uh, which is awesome, it's a great way to celebrate everything agriculture, get the media's attention, uh, get you guys talking about it uh, because we think agriculture is awesome, specifically being a farmer is awesome. So this week I want to quickly give you an update on National Ag Day. Uh, I want to talk about uh, the South Australian workshops that I'm doing here as part of um, a bit of a roadshow with Landcare and South Australian Government. Uh, and 10 farm ownership opportunities that you guys should be jumping all over. But let's get cracking. Uh, every week we talk about how many aspiring farmers have registered. We're up to 223, that's 11 more since last week, which is awesome. We need to keep you guys uh, logging on and registering. Make sure your details are up to date so we can send you specific contacts um, about farm opportunities that match your criteria. If you don't write it down, we can't let you know about it. So please fill out your details. We wanna keep building the number of aspiring farmers. So if you know anyone out there who wants to become an aspiring farmer, let them know because we want to build the numbers, we want the whole ag industry to know uh, that we have the best people in Australia who want to become farmers and will uh, help open doors to more opportunities. Um, remember there is discounted membership, so if you sign up now you'll have $150 membership annually for life. Uh, when we load up the marketplace for pitching farms where you'll be able to take farm opportunities to investors, uh, it'll be over $400 a year. So sign up now, that way we can prove the model, it helps us to be able to fund the website. So please get on there and sign up and uh, help us to help you guys onto your farm. So National Agriculture Day, uh, we think this is awesome. Uh, I believe this is the first year it's been set up. Uh, but it's a great way to get media's attention, I think. Uh, it was on the Today Show, they had a big session uh, about it during the weather. Uh, the National Farmers Federation are all over it. Um, but the more people are discussing agriculture, the better. And we want to be part of the conversation as well, that um, not only get into agriculture, but specifically uh, become a farmer, um, become the, the cornerstone of the agriculture industry, which is farming. Uh, and uh, the more people talking about it, the better in our, in our book. So we'll do a few updates today around National Ag Day uh, and why we love it and uh, throw out some ideas around uh, how we can and keep improving agriculture in Australia. Um, how to use Landcare groups, a bit of a random topic to throw in but we've been thinking about this one for a while. So we love Landcare uh, and we've been thinking about how could you guys use Landcare uh, as part of your pathway to get onto your dream farm and I think and we think that the best way to use them is to join your local Landcare group or two. Uh, get out there and meet these people who are obviously uh, socially minded, who are thinking a little bit differently uh, about farming um, and they would no doubt love this concept of backing the next generation of farmers. So if you're out there hustling, like we always encourage you to, we encourage you to get there, join a land care group, get to know these farmers uh, and use this to help support them, help them with their farming, get to know them as people and at the same time spruik that you're going to become a farmer uh, and that you're going to farm in this district and you love the landscape, you want to look after the land well uh, and that could open doors. Uh, to some great discussions and was thinking use these land care groups it might be an easy in um, so I encourage you to have a think about that um, and being part of a land care group is a great thing in and of itself but uh, just think about how you can leverage it to to get the the dream farm that you want so we're in South Australia in the Mallee area which is, which is awesome to drive through I've actually never been to uh, these country or regional areas uh, of South Australia only to Adelaide uh, and it's beautiful landscape um, and Today, I'm just about to, I'm probably going to be a bit late, uh, head in now to talk to a group of uh, people about collaborative farming. So we've got a number of people coming to talk about different models, which is awesome. Uh, Landcare and uh, South Australian Government have set this up and we're talking about Cultivate Farms and how we collaborate with young people, retiring farmers and, and investors to own farms and how community groups can get involved in supporting that as well. Um, so we're really uh, excited to be here. We'd love to do more of these sort of discussions. So if anyone there across Australia wants us to come and talk and inspire your community, we are happy to do that anytime. So just let us know. Uh, you might have seen last week that uh, I went to Sydney and we won an AMP Tomorrow Maker grant, which is awesome. This is all about supporting amazing people uh, doing great things for the community. And we, we felt that. Uh, Maybe like we didn't quite fit in. There's some amazing people doing so many great things um, 
people doing um, supporting victims of domestic violence. There's triathletes. There's um, scientists creating awesome gadgets that are going to help the world, uh, and we're part of it. It was just really awesome to know that what we're doing uh, is seen uh, to be of value to Australia, which we believe it is. But it's great to get that recognition. I also got a chance to chat with Adam Spencer, the comedian and scientist, on stage. So if you get a chance, have a look at the video. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It's great to be recognised. We're getting a bit of cash around fifteen thousand dollars, which is awesome. That's going to go straight to the website uh, and make it a beautiful thing so that you can pitch your farms and, and have them in front of investors. So uh, this also I think is because of you guys that we do have you, uh, our aspiring farmers signed up and having a crack and that is impressive. People love to hear that story. They love seeing your profiles and it creates momentum. So that's another reason why we just encourage you so much to get out there, get online, create an account and get hustling and talking about what we're doing because it opens doors. It's just about opening doors, creating momentum, uh, impressing people uh, because that's the way we know it's going to work and to get you onto your farm uh, into the future. Talking about farms, there are 10 opportunities right now uh, on the farms page of Cultivate Farms for, for ownership with retiring farmers. Please, please, please get on there and have a look. If, if any of these are remotely aligned with your values of becoming a farmer, please get in touch. These retiring farmers are awesome. They want to back you. Um, and we want you to jump on these opportunities. We need successes so we can get even more successes. So please scroll through, share the pages. Uh, they're all on Facebook now as well. Tell everybody about it um, because if we get these 10 matched, that 10 is going to turn into 100, turn into 1,000. You guys, this whole issue is solved around getting you guys on your dream farm. So please jump on there. We've got a couple of dairy farms, market gardens in Northern Territory, beef farms, mixed uh, organic, olive groves, two olive groves, a, a cha cha, still need to figure out how to say that one. Uh, uh, organic orchards, uh, flower farm, guys. If one of those doesn't match, um, we'll we'll keep digging, and there are a lot more we're going to load up very soon. So please get on there and find them, uh, guys. Happy uh, National Ag Day! Uh, get out there and talk agriculture to anybody. Uh, tell people about your farming dream. What a great day for you to tell people that you're going to become a farmer. Uh, you have open license to say that. Don't be shy about it. Get out there and tell people because, again, that's going to open doors for you. All right, guys, I'm going to go enjoy this sunshine a little bit more. Thank you for watching, uh, and we will speak next week. Cheers.